Arrival with 31%, lots of range still, but a small charging test with the Polestar at the Tesla V3 supercharger, Emnes at Hotel Wittebergen over there. Sun soaked, 19 degrees. Is supercharging perfect? No. Lots of people waiting for some people with parking problems. It wouldn't surprise me if this Tesla driver is using the Bonnet app that is cheaper at Allego than supercharging at Tesla. As you can see, many, many stalls available. I wonder why he's unplugging already. Because I thought it was fun that the Tesla was visiting the Allego charger, which I suppose is thanks to the Bonnet app which creates, creates a large price difference in advantage of the Bonnet app. Can you hear it from here? I'm not so sure, but there's a lot of active cooling going on in that Model S. This Model S is completely silent. Model S's here have to use this plug to convert to the CCS standard because this is a v3 supercharger only intended for modern teslas as i like to say when i say modern teslas i mean also cars like the polestar 2 which has the charging port in the perfect location to visit a supercharger site so let's try it out Welcome at the V3 Supercharger Aimness here in the Netherlands where they recently installed a huge number of fresh stalls in the back. When I visited last year several times for my earlier videos all these stalls weren't there. Now I'm here with the Polestar 2 which creates this insane possibility of just plugging in as if I was a Tesla. Let's try this out on my Android phone. The stall number is only shown on the right side, which is the left side. Did I say see it correctly? 3B. Yes, I did. So I'm at 31% right now. There's absolutely no need to charge. It is just a test. There was already active cooling going on during the earlier charging session today and I drove quite a bit after but with 31% it is obviously not uh, the best time to fast charge but just a test. So the initiation takes longer than I would have expected. The sign is still blue. I think it shows ah, it shows initialization. I hear a click. But it's very slow to start. I think I've been waiting for more than a minute already. But it does show a time now. Yes we're up and running so it took a long time to start but it's working let's see if it'll ramp up oh no I clicked stop by accident it takes the car a long time to free the plug after I hit the stop button by accident to keep my screen alive Let's retry. It's 
summary unavailable. So did I really stop it or did something happen? Here we go, 3B. Let's try again. I'm gonna plug in after starting this time because it took so long to activate. Let's give it another chance. After waiting more than a minute, I think, it is still not charging. Takes a really long time to initiate, even now that I tried to plug in after. Uh, lost connection. What is going on here? <laughs> So is there an issue with the with this charger or with the car? What is going on? The cooling over there is turning off, but everyone seems to be still charging. Okay, so this is really strange. I'm gonna try to restart yet again. But now the app, it takes such a long time to even complete my session. Summary unavailable. Okay, so I'm gonna plug in first. So I'll play by the rules. Plug in first. 3B, start the session. I can see the display in the car saying initializing again. Otherwise I'll just try another stall. But it takes a long time. Well, another Model Y arrives. I heard a click. Yes, it says it will be done at a quarter to eight. It is now seven o'clock. And it's ramping up. 16 kilowatt. Or is it? Is it stuck at 16 kilowatt? Huh, the car reports 60 kilowatt. Now the app is also updating, 84, I can hear the cooling of the supercharger starting, 105, car already displays 122. Tesla app 127 there we go 140 plus 147 in the Tesla app Tesla app is reporting more than the car car reports 138 at the same time the Tesla app is reporting 144 but it dropped now so they're not completely in sync but as you can see it's perfectly well working even though the initialization took way over a minute and you should plug in first and then start the session just as Tesla is asking apparently with the Polestar that's the right way to do it
137, 134 at this state of charge. Perfect charging speed with the Polestar 2 at the Tesla Supercharger V3. People charge such a short time. This Model X was here for maybe 10 minutes. And the next Tesla is already arriving. It's a coming and going of Teslas and Polestar. So we're seeing a drop to 110 kilowatts. And the next Model 3 arrives. As you can see, the predicted time till 90% is 45 minutes. Time to go. Since this was just a testing session, let's stop. 9 kilowatt hours added for almost 4 euros. Takes quite a while before you can take the plug. Now it unlocks. Ciao Tesla.